Assalamu alaikum, shalom, peace, namaste, and welcome back to another episode of the Mecca Media Morning Show. Hotel, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got I to gotta used to saying it. Yeah, I, I thought you were used, used to saying it. I ain't used to saying it yet, I'm sorry. So what you got for me this morning? Listen, I got something for you for the um, black coffee. I want to do something different with you this morning, though. Okay. I wanted to straight interview you about your music. Okay. okay, now, everybody know you're an artist and everything. Everybody know that uh, you sing, rap, dance in just one show. <clears throat> I don't dance. I can't dance. You can't dance? What do you mean? You got rhythm though, right? That's the best I got. Tell us about the, uh, your um, album that's coming out. When is it coming out? It's coming out February. The exact date, I'm not 100% sure because I'm putting my faith in Allah that he is going to put me in the right place to be able to finish it, which is manifesting because I'm working, but he working too, right? So I'm not sure exactly what day, but it will be released by Savior's Day. Those who do not know what Savior's Day is, Savior's Day is basically like our Christmas. Who's us? In the nation of Islam. Thank you. The birth of Master Fart Muhammad, Allah, in person. What does that mean? Allah in the flesh, Allah making himself known in the physical realm. Allah in the flesh. So when I hear um, brothers and sisters saying Matthew Farad Muhammad, they're talking about God who walked the earth. Yes, because God told Abraham that his seed would be taken to a strange land, and after 400 years, that he himself would come and that he would judge the nation. So we believe that to be true. We know God is not a liar. So Master Farad Muhammad, we believe, is... That God. Alive in person. Okay. Much like um, when God came down um, and talked to Adam and Eve. They said he walked down. Right. They heard his footsteps. So you think God was in a physical body? Yes. So, Just like he ate with Moses. He wrote the commandments. He Enoch walked with him. God ain't no school. God is God is physical. So so I'm about, I'm about to be I'm gonna play ignorant right now. Okay. So you're telling me Master Farah Muhammad walked walk with Moses or the Spirit of God comes into the physical bodies and represents at different times? Just like we was talking earlier about the DNA. Mm -hmm. It's the DNA. It's passed through. It's passed down in the bloodline. Okay? So just like I too am God. What? You are God. It's a bloodline. But Master Farah Muhammad is the supreme. Ye are all God's children of the Most High God. Because we are God's children. But there is also a supreme. Right? And that is who Master Far Muhammad is. He is that supreme being. He has control over the affairs of human beings. You could take that or you can leave it alone. Take that and let it alone. Period. Point blank. That. Period. So, the Nation of Islam has been instrumental in your life. Yes. Everything. I see you on your shirt. Let, 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 let's see the shirt there. Okay? I see you smuggling your whole face there. <laughs> what, uh, but I see your face showing now. But you smuggling the whole face. All I see is eyes peeking at me and stuff. <laughs> Why do you look like that there and not this now? Well, honestly, this was just this was just a picture that I was playing with. Like I was just I like the way it looked and I took it and I liked it. And then I put it in black and white. And I was like, oh, this is a nice picture. So then I just was like, oh. So you were Muslim, right? Muslim. Yes. So you didn't you didn't tell me you was thinking no. Islamic thoughts when you took that picture? No, because we don't we don't do this. This is not our culture. Whose culture is that? This is in the Middle East. This is war so that sand and stuff does not get in your face. A lot never told us to cover our whole face. A lot never told us to do that. And that is not our culture. That's called cultural wear over there. Right. So you know, people just like the hijab is cultural. We wear our, our holy headpiece. We wear a headpiece. We wear a tam. We wear a scarf. Doesn't mean that we're less Muslim because we don't wear the whole the whole outfit. That's not our culture. We have a different culture. You're not going to go to Asia and see the same thing on a Muslim. You're not going to go to Russia and see the Russians wearing the same thing. They have their own culture. We have our own culture. What's our culture? What do you mean, what's our culture? Yeah, yeah, what's our culture as, as African-Americans? African-Americans, I mean, black people have a culture in their, in their own sense, but in the nation of Islam, I mean, when you see the brothers, you're going to see a bow tie. When you see the women, you're going to see a headpiece. You're going to see them covered all the way down. You're going, you might see a tan, you might see a scarf, but 
well, we're most known for the Tam and the Hippies. Because don't nobody really wear a Tam and don't nobody wear a Hippies. Black Panthers wear a Tam. Because they call it a beret. It, it is kind of like a beret, but the way we make it is a little different. It's made differently than a beret. Okay, now, um, do you think um, a lot of our people need at least the teaching, or at least have heard or get familiar with the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad? I do. You think that's a fact? That they need to? Yes, to oh, be familiar definitely. with it. Most definitely. Give me the top three things that you believe that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad taught or is still teaching that you think is beneficial for our people. <laughs> I mean, everything. Really. Top, give me all I need is three. How do you do it? He was, he preceded Dr. Sabi. It was Dr. Sabi who got information from the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad was the first to teach us how to eat. It's a book called How to Eat to Live Now. How to Eat to Live, book one and book two. Um, That's number one. So how to eat, really just our history, who we are and our connection to God, because we go back to the beginning of creation. That's how far back the black man and woman is. We are the original man and woman. That's two, true knowledge yourself. Give me three. Three? I mean, that's... <laughs> yeah, I know so much. Give me one more. Don't say how to make the bean pie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would just say our connection to each other as people, that we're not different, that we are the same people. We just live on different land, land masses. So just because you're from Puerto Rico, you consider yourself Puerto Rican, but you're a black man or woman. Your land mass does not define you because you own the whole earth. 196,945,940,000 square miles you own. Not just Puerto Rico, not just America, speech not just speech. Africa, speech. not just speech. Uh, Asia. You own the whole world. This universe was made subservient to you. you say the sun, it. the moon, and the stars work for you. You don't work for the sun, moon, stars. I work for you. That's how important you are. You are the Khalifa or the successor of God. Come on now, speak to me. See, let, let it be known why the name of this show is the Mecca Media <laughs> Morning Show. Take us out of here, Mecca. Well, thank you guys so much. Oh, no. Venus Chandler. Handle some business before we leave. We got all about you. Your album coming out. What about her book? What's going on? Her book is out, and you, can you order it off of AcroHipHop.com? Mm -mm. Nope. We're not fixed that, though. But I you can go to AcroHipHop.com <laughs> to get more information on it, but it is available for $12 and $2.50 for shipping. Or, if you're in the area, you can go to 2 Live Music. Not True Live. Not True Live, but 2 Live. <laughs> okay, and that's on Viotum. Viotum. 330-869-2104 to call them before and make sure that they have it in stock. Yeah, call them and ask for directions. Wayne gave us the address last time. 1286. 1286. Yeah, you know the Because I'm like 1734. <laughs> oh, Lord. We're running numbers up in here. <laughs> you would have been all the way up Roman Grove. Okay, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of The Mecca Show. And until next time, be the peace.